Music Heads Radio. We got a guest in the house. Who we got in here? Yo, yo, it's seen no money. You heard me. Man, you're not a stranger, man. Welcome back, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm always around the way. You heard me. It's been a minute, man. <laughs> Seems like you've been working since you've been gone. So, so what's been going on lately? Man, I've been trying to get on any little show. Man, I've been trying to hit any small city, wherever they need somebody to entertain or do what they need to do. That's what I'm going to do. And so then what? when I'm not doing that, you know, I'm in the studio. I'm here at O'Murders. I got to keep cooking up the heat. You know what I'm saying? I got to stay in the kitchen. You setting uh, new goals for the, for the year? Man, uh, I ain't got no new goals. I mean, I got one goal, and it's probably going to be the goal every year, and that's to be a better parent. Just on some real shit, you know what I'm saying? If I can do anything, it's just to be a better parent, be a better role model for my child, guide her in the way that she need to go. And, you know, get to the money. Right now, one by one. What's what's what, what I gotta hear when I come to a see no money show? <laughs> man, it's like when I first hit started hitting the market down here, man, them folks were like, man. I was going to go one route, and then I, I pulled up to this one show, and I was with a, you know what I'm saying, a guy of mine, and he was like, yeah, we need to do the end of rain, end of rain, end of rain. So we prepared that whole day for end of rain, and then, you know, I pull up, check out the venue, check out the crowd, check out the participants. I said, nah, homie, I'm going to do something a little different, you know what I'm saying? So we went in, I did what I wanted to do, came out on top. He was like, damn, that was a cool little switch up, good little audible. I promise it's a song that, you know what I'm saying, I performed multiple times as I, you know what I'm saying, traveled around the city of Atlanta to do open mics. And then, you know, man, one night me and my guy Terry, we set up, and he was like, man, fuck that, man, we finna do some shit for these bitches. So I just set up, and I came out with the work, it. sent it to my producer, Scrib. That nigga said, oh, that's it. I said, fuck it, nigga. If it's that's it, you my nigga. I'm fucking with you. Gonna put you a verse on that. So if that's it and I'm gone, you gone too. We're gonna go together. You hear me? Real nigga shit. I wasn't tripping. I ain't no stingy nigga. I ain't no selfish nigga. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if we all play our role and do what we gotta do, we gonna make it. So that means you be a feature artist too, right? Oh man, I feature on a whole lot for free. I ain't, I ain't in nobody pockets. I feel like you know what I'm saying. Until I get myself to a place where I think you know what I'm saying, I need to be. You better go on to get in my pockets. Don't wait till it's too late, cause when it's too late, it's gonna cost you. And I'm for real. This niggas getting hundred thousand for a feature. Shit, I might start at a hundred thousand. <laughs> what you talking about? I'm going to start at 100000 Let me ask you a question. How can people, if they don't know, see no money, first, how can they find you? Where can they find your music? Uh, Just really just go to my Instagram, Casino Money 7-Eleven. I got my link, my bio, uh, my links in the bio. So all you got to do is go to Casino Money 7-Eleven on my Instagram. You will find the links to my music, and you will find the link to all of everything I do. And just keep up with me. You know what I'm saying? What, what can we expect? <laughs> do what I've been telling myself. If y'all don't know, see no money, do talk to itself a lot in the mirror on my own motivation. January 8th, the come out will be dropping. And I promise you, you ain't skipping no song on there. I'm coming from every each way. I'm going to give you the good, the bad. You know what I'm saying? Some shit to ride to. You know what I'm saying? However you want it, but January 8th, the come out will be released. That's where you'll be able to find the track, I promise. Balling. Work it. I ain't going to give you all love, but going to get there. It's going to be streaming everywhere. So I don't want to hear no excuses. Y'all find a way to get music free. You give me my money. You heard me. Because I'm giving you all my time, my effort, and my energy. You know what I'm saying? Cena going to keep it real with you. Man, like Boosie said, don't be burning my CDs. <laughs> For real. So, how'd you get to Atlanta? 
Then I got to Atlanta. Oh, I actually, I uh, me and this girl that I was dating, you know, we had came up with a little plan, and actually it was her plan before even my plan. I ain't gonna fly. But she was gonna move here and blase. So we, you know, we end up going, getting together, getting the house built, and uh, you know, things happen. But in between time and in the meantime, I was facing desperate situations and I was like, fuck it. I'm in Atlanta. I know my music hard. Then I met this nigga. He was like, bro, I'm going to get you out here. I'm going to show you this. So he did what he said he was going to do. But niggas be yapping and capping. So I had to let that nigga go. Well, he said he let me go. So he let me go. Fuck him. Oh, then... On some other shit, I ran into my niggas at uh, Music Head Radios. I ran into old Murder Studios, started networking with people, different artists. You know what I'm saying? Started, you know what I'm saying? Doing a lot of music, getting a lot of my project done here. I appreciate them, you know what I'm saying? So was there a style in Nashville that's different than Memphis? Yeah, I mean, cause I fuck with both sides. Like, I fuck with a lot of Memphis music. I fuck with now. I fuck with Lido. I fuck with Trip. I fuck with Gotti. I fuck with Dolph. I fuck with all of them. Youngster, Clock. I fuck uh, Shyster. That's why I be on them. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like like people might ask me, like I personally before I perform, I tell y'all no bullshit. I personally go to the DJ before I perform. I like man. I need you to bump Pooh Shyster. Cause once that push ice, that's gonna have me rocking. And once once it once it push ice to get me rocking, I'm ready to go on. You heard me? It's just some real shit. So what style are you bringing? Like, is it is it is it more? Is it? Uh, it's not even a fair question. I like Memphis music personally. I just, I just really be rapping. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know who. Cause I don't. I listen to so many p- different people, so many different styles. I listen to the blues. I listen to jazz. I listen to rap. I listen to gospel. I listen to Kenny Smooth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I mean, so when I listen to a beat, and most people be like, "Man, they be hard. They be hard." I'm like, "You got good track selection." It's because I'm used to listening to so many different music. I mean, so many different types of music that when I hear a beat and I hear when a producer using a, a certain type of instrument and I know when it's being used right into perfection, it's like, okay, this is it. You know, where, where do you get your inspiration from? You listen to a lot. I, ain't, I get my music from you... Two <laughs> for real. I go to YouTube, that'd be hard. Scrib, I'm finna shoot you some my G. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it ain't theirs. It might sound like it, but it's mine. We're gonna switch it up, put Scrib gonna put this sauce on it. And when Scrib put this sauce on it, then you know what I'm saying, we ready to go. How did you get your fans in the first place? I mean, it was probably just people that fuck with me, just like Hey, play this. Let me hit this. You know, then I start using Instagram, Facebook, just start posting stuff just to get people attention. At first, I used to tag people. Then I thought, that's, that's a sucker move. I'm gonna just post it. You like it, you like it. If not, you don't. I mean, I ain't gonna tag you. I don't wanna be out on you. You know, cause I don't you know where I'm from. That's how you see on Facebook. Man, these trash ass rappers, sorry ass rappers. But you said earlier that you were, you know, out. Playing music out your car, passing out CDs, like yeah, that's that's once I was good. That's once I was trying to get money too. We was we was we were watching Master P documentaries and like he came out the trunk. We went to put our little four five dollars together, went to Family Dollar and got got a little fifty pack of CDs. Hey y'all, let's put some songs together. Put up, mm, what we gonna call this? All right, write on there with the mark. Pull up and be a road. Damn, we sold out. Everybody split up. We split the money up, get what? 
Now, everybody went and bought their own pack of 50. <laughs> Come on, let's go get it. You go to your side, your side, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, shit changed in life. Situations happen. Niggas start going their own way. And, like, niggas never fell off. I still fuck with them niggas to this day. You know what I said? Shout out, Nate Yoda, 40. DJ Murder. I fuck with them niggas this day, man. Do you have a dream artist that you want to work with? Uh, I don't want to say dream because I really just be liking my own shit. But or somebody that want to work with you, like I, you know, I, I, I like I ain't gonna lie, be telling my boy, I said I'm gonna get that Pooh the future. I gotta get that motherfucker because I fuck with I fuck with dude, man. I like dude be having me turn. Fuji, Gucci, Boosie. I be wanting Plies. Like the niggas I was bumping back in 07, 06, 05. Jesus, you know what I'm saying? I want one of them features, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I hear you say it's a young man gang, but I feel like if I get that old head feature, I'm still going to sell or outsell the young man due to the fact that the old man don't put in the work and I already got the fans. 